Okay, I'm making another short video on how to use this manual charger. Now this is actually the most critical piece because this batteries, this batteries, is going to cost you about one hundred fifty dollars each. On top of that, it's sixty five pounds each. It's a nightmare to take. Think about it, twelve of them. It's huge. It's heavy, and it's expensive. And that's just pure costs. And think about labor and the electrician and other crap. Crap. Uh, it's gonna be very costly. If you change all these batteries, think about three grand, easy. But okay, so how do you revive these batteries using this manual charger? Um, I just trial by error. I fixed. I, I figured out how to do this. I'm gonna share the secret with everybody. Um, you, what you do is you need a manual charger. You can get this. It's like I think it's twenty bucks, twenty five to maybe thirty five dollars. Um, you can get a manual charger it's like like this. You need a 12 volt. The reason you need a higher volt is because you want to have a higher voltage than the battery uh, itself so that it has higher pressure to push through. And you want a low currency because you don't want to burn the battery. Otherwise, the battery gets really hot. Now, if you did it, do this on your own, and people will tell you, wow, this battery is going to heat it and it's going to have a lot of uh, poison gas and it's going to have tons of bad smell. Don't worry about it. None of this is going to happen. None. Okay? Um, I tried. I, I was told about the scary stories. That doesn't happen. Um, basically, what happened is uh, if you have, but you have to put at 2 amp. I'm going to say it one more time 2 amp. If you put 10 amp, which I tried, it was burning hot. So don't do it. It's may, it may cause some serious problem. Um, now, you just you probably need it with a, a switchboard like this, I mean, uh, extension cord like this, just to make sure that it's easy to turn things on, on and off. The most critical thing is back to the charger, is how do you know it's charged? So I'm gonna teach you how to use a manual charger. If you put two, 10 amp, you see what happened here? Is at 10, that means current is going through at a 10 at this moment actually what's gonna happen is if it's completely empty right now the the, the battery is somewhat char charged so right now it's reading at 10 now if it's completely empty it's gonna be all the way up like it's gonna break the meter almost so um it's it, but right now that doesn't mean the 10 is correct it's, it means 25 percent charge it's not because you are charging a 8 volt with 12 again you are charging 8 volt battery with 12 volt charger so what's 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 uh based on my experience what's good is probably when you put on 10 that thing will go to about six again if you put on 10 that goes to six that means pretty much good charge now if you put on two Right now, it doesn't mean anything. You know what? We actually gas to two, it's actually almost fully charged. So if it doesn't need to go to zero. It won't go to zero. So if you go to two or in the middle, maybe one, you are good to go. Um, okay, so that's actually how roughly you know uh, using the rely on the charger itself, you know it's, it's somewhat charged or not. So mostly you are using two, again, summarize, and two amp. And uh, if you are reading at say two or one or even four, you are maybe good, but you're not sure. So what do you do? You go back to your voltage meter, okay? You got a voltage meter, and if you if it's eight, if it's eight volt, like batteries like this, is eight volt, it should be like eight point seven, um, nine. Nine, it's almost, sometimes it hits 10. So don't be scared about it when it's high. Just don't worry, okay? Now, another thing you can use to check, which I find is really easy to use, is this, hydrometer. And, but now it only works with things like this. So you open this up, you just push, squeeze really hard, and you just suck all the juice out, and fill this up, and let it dip a little bit. Let it dip a little bit. So some juice is gonna go out. 
and most of the juice couldn't just stay in there. And you hold it up like this vertical, and it goes into the blue box, you are golden. And most of the time when you have a dead battery, it's gonna go all the way here to the end, like what it is now. So, uh, but you, with this one, you kinda have to be careful. You see what's inside? Acid. It's gonna burn people. So, with this, you kinda have to be careful. Uh, but you don't necessarily, honestly, you don't necessarily have to be as careful uh, as this, many places, you know, many places people uh, people said. You just have to be careful. Get a gloves, any kind of glove, gloves like this will work. Okay? And put aside away from children. Okay, I showed you how to use voltage meter and how to use a manual charger, uh, a 12 volt to charge 8 volt. I hope this helps you to save thousands of dollars. All you need to do is say thank you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Good luck.